another group on a path to serve the low country, the junior ROTC students at Hilton Head High. Kendra Franklin, join them for their Seahawk Classic. Hi, I'm Kendra. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with Alexis, the platoon commander at Hilton Head High School. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I just want to know what we're doing here today, and can you tell me a little bit about the event that's going on? Today we're hosting our Seahawk Classic here at Hilton Head. We do this every year for different schools around the area to come here and um, come and compete in our Joe Meet as if we would go to theirs. Okay, and how many schools, are, is it just around South Carolina or is it around yes, the around state? South Carolina. Okay, and how many schools do you know are here? Today there was supposed to be attending 12 schools, but today we have nine. Okay, and throughout the competition, can you tell me a little bit about what they compete, like what, um, how they're judged and everything else like that? Um, platoons are judged on military bearing, the way they execute their commands, and different things, so on and so forth. Um, today we're having armed platoon, unarmed platoon, armed squad, exhibition, and other various armed competitions. Okay, and can you tell me the job title of a platoon commander, like what exactly do you guys do? Well, my job as a platoon commander is to teach freshmen, but today I am also the drill team commander here, and I'm going around supervising everything that goes on here also. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I can't wait to see some of these competitions. All right. All right have a good one. I'm here with Executive Officer Andrew Fletcher. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Can you tell me a little bit about your title? I'm the second in command for this high school. Um, it's my job to make sure that everything, such as the gear and the teams are in order and ready to compete on uh, competitions like today. And how long does it take to prepare for a competition like this? We prepare every day, every week, um, starting with about the second week of high school. Okay. And we'll start then and we'll prepare and we keep preparing until the drill competition is. Does everyone compete? Every All grades compete? All grades are open to compete. It's not a requirement. It's um, if you enjoy RTC you're allowed to come and do this as a bonus and really learn what RTC is all about. Okay and do you practice every day or do you only after school? We practice every day during class and we also have a drill team practice specific specifically after school for about an hour and a half to two hours each day. Okay and you have this once a year right? We hold our own meet once a year but we also go to about five to six meets every each year that's at different high schools. All right and do you do like every so often or do you have a set time that you go to these meets? We only go on Saturdays, so we don't have to miss any school or anything. Um, and we go to about two a month or so, just depending when the schools are available to hold their own. Okay, and how long does this, uh, the competition last? Is it an all-day event, or is it just um, the morning, like in the morning? It's just in the morning. We'll have a lunch and then our award ceremony right after. And But it only takes about five minutes for each school to compete in each event, okay. and so we can run through pretty quickly. Um, and then right after lunch, about 12, 30, 1 o'clock or so, we'll have our award ceremony okay. where and we hand out the trophies for first, second, third, and fourth place. Okay, perfect. And how are these, um, how are they judged? Who exactly judge each event? We have several different judges. This year, we have many um, Navy active duty uh, from the Navy Hospital in Beaufort. And also right here next to us, we have the Navy recruiter who comes to the high schools a lot. And he's agreed to come out and help us judge today. Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. No problem. Thank you, guys. Back to you.